Hey everyone, what's up? Dan Bernard here with another tutorial. And I must say it's been a while. And that's because I've been super busy. Took a few weeks off to not only develop a few products I'm really excited to announce on this channel, but I also became a dad recently. So obviously big life change event happening there. And of course, if you want to send me gifts or money, uh, please go ahead and just send me a message and I'll gladly hook you up with a PO box because I wouldn't want to deny my subscribers the opportunity to bless me. Cause you know, babies. Anywho, as you may have seen in a previous video that was released last week, Wave Brigade has come out with a brand new service called Beat Drop. And Beat Drop is a music subscription service and what it does is delivers five royalty-free original beats to your inbox every single month for $9.99. And just like Wave Brigade sound effects, when I say royalty-free, I mean royalty-free. There's no attribution. There's no complicated mess that goes into this. You can pretty much use it for whatever you want for as long as you want forever. And that's pretty awesome that it keeps it simple. So if you wanna learn more about Beat Drop by Wave Brigade, Go ahead and go to wavebrigade.com slash beat drop and you can check out all the information, including a little preview of what comes in this month's beat drop. So please check that out. Let us know what you think. And I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Today, we're gonna be in Adobe Premiere Pro 2015.4. I'm gonna to cut together a bunch of clips into a montage that is edited to the beat of music. So here you have just a bunch of clips in no particular order, some stuff I shot, at a concert, some stuff that Casey shot, some user submitted footage, pretty much just like a hodgepodge of clips here. And I want to cut it together in a way that's interesting. And I know some of you were thinking, Dan, I feel like I've seen this tutorial before. It is true, I have done a tutorial on editing footage to music before, showing a couple different ways in both Adobe Premiere Pro and in Adobe Audition. But I wanna just highlight how much easier that process has gotten due to the fact that beat drop is a thing now. So first things first, we need some music. And here I have the folder open that contains this month's music from beat drop. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that into my music folder. And it's nice because not only are they well labeled, but they also show the beats per minute. So if I'm looking for a slower or a more moderate tempo or a faster tempo, I have the information at my disposal just by looking at the file name. So now that the clip is loaded into the source window, I can go ahead and hit spacebar and preview my music. Here's a hip hop track. Here's more of a rock track. Here's more of a soft rock track. And here is a techno track. And now let's get started on cutting this together. So for this particular edit, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Soft Rock Fresh Fish track, bring that in. And you may notice up here in the source monitor that there are markers. You might see here in the timeline window that there aren't any markers here. And the way to correct that is you go up here, you click on this wrench and you click on show clip markers. And we zoom out and there you go. There's some easy, edit points that you can make to quickly adjust the length of this music to fit your project. What this means is I can quickly and easily make edits to my music wherever there's a marker and drag to another place where there's a marker, line it up, and there'll be a seamless edit there. So that's pretty cool. So the first things first, I need to get a feel for where the beats are in this music. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let it play through to figure that out. So what I'm gonna do is hit N and that brings up this tool here, which is called the rolling edit tool. And what I'm gonna do is just start lining up the edit points to where certain beats of the music occur so that the edit feels natural. So I'm just gonna move this clip over here, overriding a little bit of the previous clip to where this beat happens to make this edit feel a little more natural. So now that I know the amount of time needed for each video clip, I can quickly make the in and out point adjustments to 
all the other video clips by just dragging the video clip over one of the clips that I know the in and out points to and shortening the out point to meet the out point of the track below it because now I know that these will both take the exact same amount of time. And in theory, if I bring this clip over here and play it, it will perfectly line up with a beat. There we go. So now I can take this next one and just repeat the process. Okay, so I made a bunch of edits to all the clips and now all of these clips here are taking up the exact same amount of time. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these other clips at the end. I'm gonna hit the down arrow to, to jump my playhead to the end of the highlighted video track here. And I'm gonna hit O for an out point. That's where I want my entire video to end. So now that I know that the timing of these video clips are correct, I just need to make the necessary edits for my music track to fit the span of time allotted by my video track. So I already have an edit down here that I've made on one of these markers. And I know that if I move this over to one of these markers over here, just zoom in, I know I'll have a seamless edit there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here at the end where I know this track ends and move it to the end. Get rid of that extra stuff there. All right, so with that ending point put here, I can go ahead and just add a quick fade by hitting shift D and that will add a default transition to whatever in or out point of a clip that you want by making sure the cursor changes to select either in or out point. So now when I play through it and assuming that I've made all the necessary time changes to the video track and I know that the beat of my music track is correct and I've made all the edits on the markers provided, the edits in this montage should be seamless and natural and perfectly aligned with the beat of the music. Let's check it out. And of course, if I decide that I want this to be half as long, again, as long as I'm careful, I can add this ending clip here to any of these markers and there'll be a seamless edit there. And I can make this as short or as long as I want by either removing or duplicating the marked sections in the music. So I hope that this gives you a brand new tool to use in your editing toolkit when you are trying to be efficient in creating edits that seamlessly happen on beats of music. And of course, I hope you'll check out Beat Drop provided by Wave Brigade by going to wavebrigade.com slash beat drop and checking it out. Let us know what you think here. And uh, we would love to hear your feedback or suggestions on how to make this better. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.